incredible scenes here in Wellington. If I hadn't seen it live, I may not have believed it. Teams are let out onto the playing surface, which is uh, typically in fine fettle for this one. Friday night football comes to Wellington. Just two rounds to play in the Hyundai A-League before we head to the playoffs. Such a wonderful time of the season to be involved. Let's have a look at uh, who is involved uh, from respect of both sides. Let's start with the home side. Just one change. Ben Sigmund returns at the back for Ernie Merrick, and that means a reshuffle because Manny Musket is left out. Fenton goes to left back. Michael Boxall holds on to his place in the side at right fullback, but they are looking for goals, and the front three need to deliver. Burns, McGlinchey, and Krishna look for the pressure to be on those players to score tonight. Well, for the Mariners, also just one change, a late change too. Fabio Ferreira ruled out yesterday with a calf strain and uh, simply not being risked in this one. So some familiar names. Look at the experience in midfield with Hutchinson and Montgomery anchoring that midfield. The Mariners will play in a 4-3-1-2 formation, bit of a diamond in midfield, whilst the Phoenix a familiar 4-3-3 lineup. Plenty of experience on the bench for Ernie Merrick, Musket, Cunningham, Leah Hicks is there as well, whilst Poscalero, Liam Rose, Trefiro and Matt Simon, if he takes the field, it will be his 150th appearance in the Hyundai A-League for the Mariners. And it's been an area over the last, particularly the last two games against, home games against Sydney and, and the victory. Their passing was has been you know, quite sloppy at times, particularly out of midfield. Another one gone astray from Bonavasia, so... I mentioned uh, Reddy and, and Rose. Uh, of course, Osaka Cernak uh, had a brief spell with Wellington as well, Harry. And it really was brief, six games. Back in uh, 2013, a chance here, though, and an opening goal out of nothing. Complete breakdown, and the crowd is silenced in the opening goal of the game for Nick Fitzgerald. Well, there's a turn-up. Well, again, the Phoenix caught napping at the back. This has been quite reminiscent, actually, over the last two or three weeks. Nice little ball there inside from Anthony Kalik, and what a cutting pass there. Split into defence. And Nick Fitzgerald, all the time in the world, st stood Glenn Moss up. Nice. Nice execution to the near post. Great ball from Cernak as well, wasn't it? Nathan Burns, and he inspire his teammates, McGlinchey. Switch of play. Krishna brings it down, one-on-one -on -one in the area. Krishna, Krishna beats his mark and then drags the shot. Well, he's been so involved as the Fijian, but nothing going his way early on. Well, he's getting closer. The Phoenix look like they've got the weight of the world on their shoulders. Yeah, it is, it's absolutely, isn't it? They're playing with a lot more freedom, Central Coast. You see the nervousness in the, some of the Phoenix, particularly in their passing. Know the pedigree of Eddie Bosnar from set piece play, Harry. Back in 2012 in the K League, he scored a goal that was rated the goal of the season at 123 kilometres an hour. Drives it through, and there's another. Well, he scored a blistering free kick in the K League, and now he scored one through the wall. I don't think Glenn Moss is happy. The Mariners lead 2 0. Well, Bonavacci is shaking his head. He won't be the only one shaking his head. Now on YouTube, Eddie Bosner, as you said, Andrew, you'll see some absolute crackers from this guy. Rodriguez, Riera. This is the battle they've been losing, the Phoenix. Though, to be fair, they've been second best across most of the park. Krishna finds the shot. Save ready. That's the best moment for the home side, but it's pretty damn good from that man, too. Chance now, ready to the crossbar. Can they scramble at home, the home side? Great defending, Durante, and the Mariners somehow clear the danger.
Well, the Central Coast Mariners will go to the sheds with a very comfortable 2-0 lead at the break. The Wellington Phoenix have now gone beyond six hours in the Hyundai A-League without a goal. They need at least two in the second half to get back into this match. Well, you said about the hour mark, Harry. You got it bang on because 40 seconds away from the hour mark, Ernie Merrick with a couple of changes. And this will see a reshuffle because Rodriguez leaves and Musket is on. And Kenny Cunningham will also hit out there and he will replace Roy Krishna. And that is certainly much more a like-for-like -like change. Kenny Musket finds Bonavasia. Puts the support on the right wing side. Has it in Boxel. And now Cunningham. Burns, Bonavasia, Bonavasia passes it in. They're back in the match. Rolly Bonavasia slides that one home. Game on here at Westpac. Well, Peter O'Leary's having nothing of the afters, but the fans could care less because their side is back in the match. Rolly Bonavasia just rolls one past ready. It was a great, good little run inside by Kenny Cunningham just to put the defenders off. He made that darting run inside. Burns with a nice pass to Bonavasia. Space on the edge of the box. Perfect placement there from the Dutchman. Burns collects and Boxel overlaps. Boxel now. Three in the penalty area. Boxel, the first touch heavy. Chance now. Oh, it's off the line. Now it's missed. Over the bar. How on earth have they not scored? Now that's for a stat. 78 hours of continuous football for Andrew, Andrew Durante. That is crazy. It really is. Testament to the mental and the physical fortitude of the Phoenix skipper. This opens up now for Fenton, the makeshift central midfielder. Chance now, Bonavasia. Getting into the area, coming in, coming in, they're back on level terms! Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Liam Reddy doesn't want to. Coming in with a stunning strike, 2-2 two -two in the capital. Well, Ernie Merrick, when you look to your bench to make a difference, Kenny Cunningham's put his hand up on this occasion. Some good work from Bonavaccia, fortuitously forced to Kenny Cunningham. He's done this before, hasn't he? Come on and made a difference. Great control, first touch. Fitzgerald. They're hesitant now, the Mariners. Not living on the ball. Burns. Over the ball, one way, then the other. Drives it across! Straight and ready! Chance! Chance at top two, gone, blazed over the bar by Hicks. Jason Hicks could have been the hero there tonight for the Phoenix. Great work from Burns here to get this one across. Good reflection. Safe from Reddy. Well beyond the allocated stoppage time now. It's been quite the match. Quite the start from the Mariners and quite the comeback from the Wellington Phoenix. Is there time? Benson running. Has support. Bonavasia rolls it through. Cunningham! Oh, they've won it! They've won it! Kenny Cunningham with a priceless goal! Incredible scenes here in Wellington. Would you believe it, Andrew? I would have thought Nathan Burns would have been the ball on the right-hand side, but they chose to come inside to that man, Kenny Cunningham. What a difference he's made. Two goals off the bench tonight for Cunningham. Bonavaccia involved as well.
and he's passed this one back into the back of the net. Great composure. Pass Lee and Rudy. Well, well, well. Well, just incredible. Just incredible. Peter O'Leary, for the final time in his A-League career, blows the whistle on this one, and the crowd erupts in Wellington. An incredible match. The Phoenix come back from 2-0 down to win it, 3-2, and stay alive for the big prize.